Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Screen Interviews, and this is Game of Thrones Episode 4, Part 2. Last time we left off, we had made our way back to the wall after uh, kind of introducing everybody to the plot again. So we saw what Mira was doing in King's Landing, what Asher was doing outside Marine with Darnarius and the dragons and all that, and how uh, Roger kind of started to formulate a plan with his beloved to murder Griff, which... I just cannot wait to happen. And I just know we're all going to die in the end because it's fucking Game of Thrones and that's what happens. But either way, um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to drink because that's what we do with these video games. So three, two, one, cheers, guys. And I'm going to kick the video back off. Again, cheers. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey Ugh. cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. That rum hit a little harder than I thought it would. That the one who killed Brit. He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before um, I'm apologizing right now. I'm gonna open a bag of chips. Sorry, sorry, unprofessional. I meant to open it before. I want a chip. I will say this though. Now we have every reason to fucking leave this place. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Well, you know, if a guy has to piss, a sack of onions. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. No. Okay. Ooh, if I ever hey, find a way out of here. Shut up. There was something else right there, right? Absolutely. Thank you. That might be useful. Any weapon's better than no weapon. Is there anything else here? Let's, let's come all the way back here real quick. Back of sand. Just sand. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all okay. bloody useless. Okay, we're, uh... How do I... Wait, did those... That was always there? Hmm. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Can't you punch it out with your weapon? No one out there. Don't know what I expected. Okay. So now... Oh. I mean, why push it? You know it's just gonna make me use this stupid tool anyways. Oh! Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What oh, about weird him? space between the and morning. He told me nobody on. believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. Ah, I shit. have to get out of here. That's why I came. I wanna help. Let's go. You'd be executed too. Let's go be free people. To help me? I told you my free secret. Up. Sorry. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So gonna if be you're cynical, going guys. north, I'm coming with you. This is, I'm, we're doing this. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. Yeah, that's what I said. Let me get back to down the fucking stone down here. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm getting out of here. It's coming loose. Exactly. I'm gonna try to push it out. The, the, the mortar we're just breaking away right. at that point. Uh, you. I hope no 
anyone heard that? That was very loud. Hey, can you fit through? I think. See, this is the uh, this is the point where being a, a five foot five guy like myself would be beneficial. We need to go, like right the fuck now. Anybody just saw us there? What the fuck? And of course, Cotter just is a ninja assassin stealth man. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. I barely hit that. Cotter can walk around freely. What the fuck is he doing? Oh. I thought it was going to make me do something. I guess it just wanted me to crawl. I forget that there's very few situations in any Telltale game where you can kind of put yourself in a bind that, like, it's game over. There are, there are enough, but oh, as a general whole, they generally involve- Oh my god! It's lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? Oh, let's be friends. I draw something like this. Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. Yeah, he's, he's coming. What do you coming. think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I don't... good at starting them anyway. Stop being an asshole. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Until he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. We're like the three musketeers. I like that nobody's really, I mean, we have a mission, you know, like we have an idea that we want to find North Grove. Cotter has the idea that he's, he's free folk, so he doesn't want to be here anyways, but Finn just this, like nobody's really thinking much past like the next step, you know, nobody's thinking too hard about it. That's really shitty. For people who made vows, that's, that's real crap. I'm glad we're at the weird tree, actually. There's no turning That's back appropriate. Now. Or appropriate. That's appropriate. We're deserters, for sure. And that doesn't Breaking upset you? Vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Don't be proud of that. Don't take Words the fucking don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. I didn't mean for it to come to this. The vows I took here. I meant them. Exactly. And someday I'll come back to one of them. Good man. Whose decisions you know, we're gone are now. forced. And we need then to go. How fast can you run? God, that tree is fucking terrifying. If we never see the tree again, I'll be pretty damn happy. Pride and purpose. I just, there's normally like six parts to an episode, so that's three already that I really hope it's not that short. They're normally about two hours long, but we're only maybe 40 minutes into it, and that's what I'm thinking is halfway done. I really, really, really hope not. Um, talk about being inconspicuous? are these people sitting on the floor for? Get up. No. Our people are fucking dying. It's worse Lovely. than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. What the fuck? I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. 
I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm hoping that this delay and tactic works. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. I like yeah, you. Then. Well, they don't even give me a choice. I'm glad. I, I would have totally taken her with me, but... I think it's... I like that that music's becoming great. Everybody's looking up in pride and awe. Our lord. He comes back from the dead. I'm not gonna lie. We haven't done much, like, control-wise this whole episode. It's been fairly, like... There's been a little bit, but mostly it's just been, you know, story driven. Stop this at once. Why? The fuck, dude? You let that fight faster. <coughs> no, I tried to <coughs> You tried harder for a foster. <coughs> My lord, please. Oh, I am the only lord who matters here. Roderick! Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore! What are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me! I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. She'll never marry you, Griff. She'll do what she's told. Just as you did, Roderick. And so will he, when I'm through with him. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You'll pay for this in blood. I thought I taught you proper, Roderick. You are not the man in charge now. I am. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. I think we're just gonna do like what we can. Just like you maced her here. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. Let's go. Fucking easily, Roderick. Shit. Oh. What the hell is this? And what are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. Kill anyone that moves. You yes! Stop now! You can't do this. Watch me. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family! Shut your bloody mouth, Rip! You can away at me. Uh, Your friends I? won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I'll... Oh. <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop. My eye! Roderick, lip! Fine, 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 fucking fine. I can't. I can't fucking see. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I'm not gonna lie, if his mother wasn't there, I probably would have murdered him. And for those unaware, I generally don't play the game again. Word cannot reach high point. 
You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. Awesome. <laughs> Good, everybody's getting involved. But yeah, no, I general like, I don't as a whole play the games again. Owned and ready. I don't, uh, so I won't go back through and play the episode. I play all, the whole game first, and then I may go back and redo parts. But I like to play this I one continuous story that I don't ever change, Fuck like, my major decisions. And your That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven uh, bloody hells? I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Nice one, Beske. You motherfucker! Ah, you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed! You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? You've made your point, Croft. You mind shutting up about it? I'm about ready to leave both of you behind. You take care of this, Asher. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway! what the hell is going on? Are you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh, okay. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. And you told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real bite, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. What are you so afraid of? I was a slave here in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. But it made you strong, didn't it? You say that like it makes it worth it. No, it I'm, I'm not justifying, I'm just trying we to... We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. Yeah. I'll drink for that. Thank you, little brother. Cheers. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. 
Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. It's not how you train. Don't worry guys. about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. I'm not sure if we'd have good looking babies or not. And I'm really, really rethinking my choice of continuing to let her drink. Hypocritical, I know, but it is what it is. Oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, stop it. Damn it. Okay, guys, uh, pause screen. So clearly we're going to go ahead and call it quits here. Again, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and thank you for watching this episode of Game of Thrones Episode 4. I was, the episodes were confusing me. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Let me know you appreciate the content, that you want more of it, all the good jazz. If you have any comments, criticism, suggestions, critiques, put it down in the comments section below. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and I will see you in the next part.